everybody it's big man it's back on the sandwich hope you guys are ready for another hot and ready special because today we're diving back into shadows over loathing we just graduated from college and we got a new assistant his name is professor adams and he is uh, looking around bemuzzedly talk to him i don't actually want to do that i want to go i'm gonna go back to ocean city here real quick and get um um my main person whose company I have come to enjoy immensely. Uh, Molly Buttons, that's the one. Uh, so boss. Yeah, 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 you know who he is. You know who we're talking about. Where's my Molly? How are you doing? All right, so now that we have graduated at the top of our class, we're able to go to the library and get that book. Oh. This is like the, the person you see, uh, um, talk to her. This is like, uh, in the, the clown tent thing. Oh dear, are you new here? Uh, yeah, I'm Mayo. My name's Janet. Please don't be alarmed by my visible, my by my visible mechanical insides. I'm in no pain. Well, that's good, but isn't the um immobility an issue? Oh, I'm perfectly mobile. I have wheels, and the robotronics department has provided me with some very nice telescoping arms. I'm just sitting down right now because the majority of students on because with the majority of students on break, I don't have any books that need shelving. Ah, okay then. Anything I can help you with? I'm looking for a certain book. Would you say it's an important one or or an easily replaceable one? Oh, the former, definitely. You want to ask Douglas about that then? He keeps track of all the books that we actually care about. Ah, okay, thanks. Very good, very good, very good. Dougies. Ah, oh, hello again. Are you a student now? I am, yep. Got my student ID and everything, see? Ah, so it looks to be in order. Very well then, my name is Douglas. What can I do for you? Uh, what does that man have an eyeball for a head? I did kind of notice him off to the side there. Uh, he's quite a sight, isn't he? <laughs> Please don't be alarmed. I'm more confused, to be honest. Ted and I, and our colleague Janet over there to my right, share a, shall we say, unusual past. What that? We worked in, uh, a circus sideshow together. That was more than 30 years ago now. Ah, you don't seem like sideshow material. Okay, so this game takes place 30 years after West of Loathing. That's interesting. Who was this guy then? I, cause I remember the eyeball guy and I remember the mechanical insides lady. Perhaps not, but regard. He stands up and turns to face the wall, but he's still looking right at you. His entire back. Okay, I do remember this guy. Is identical to his front with another face on the back of his head and all of his clothes tailored to match. What? Ha <laughs> ha! Please excuse me, but I do always enjoy the reactions of new students. He sits back down to a chorus of cracks and pops as his joints reverse into new positions. Holy jeez. No, oh, don't worry. It sounds much worse than it feels. A regiment of stretching exercise keeps me fit as a fiddle. Anyway, after the three of us escaped the circus, we headed to east, to the east. The institute took us in out of scientific curiosity and gave us a work and gave us work as librarians. How'd you escape? Ah, well, it's not a story that really bears recounting. Besides, three of us prefer to look ahead, not back. Even myself. Haha. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Looking for a certain book. Uh, but this is going to sound dumb. I've been doing this job for years, and I assure you, whatever you, whatever it is, I've heard dumber. Well, I don't know the title of the book or anything or what it's about. All I know is that it's a hardcover and it about so big and probably an antique. Well, something of that size and age would be in our stacks. All the books out front here are ones that won't be mourned if an undergrad doodles in the margins or uses a slice of bologna as a bookmark. Hmm, okay. So anything else I can help you with? Nope. Okay, cool. Tall, wiry man with a single eyeball for a head glares at you as you approach. Uh, hello. Doesn't say anything. Douglas calls you over. I'm afraid the stacks are off limits to undergraduates, faculty, and alumni only. Hmm. So I have to pass all my courses first? Exactly. Once you have all three signatures on your course transcript, Ted will verify them and let you through. I should warn you, not that I think you'd attempt to eat the cheat or anything, but Ted is very good at spotting forgeries and has a lot of pent up anger and frustrations. Ted clenches and unclenches his fists while watching you carefully. I got, I got three signatures though. Yeah, Ted, your transcript, and he inspects it carefully. After a moment, he nods and hands you back to the transcript. Adjust us to the door with a thumb. Thanks, Ted. And to the stacks. You know what? I got a thing I gotta do first. Alright, alright, alright. This spooky guy is ready to go. All the furniture has been pushed into the corner. I see that. 
This old man is chanting something in a language you can't understand, apparently conducting some sort of dark ritual. But the rather important looking book, which you'll have already noticed, is generating some sort of ominous dark portal. Interrupt him. Excuse me, wh what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, it's just I'm looking for a certain book, and I'll be frankly amazed if it isn't the one you got on that pedestal there. You think I'm just gonna give it to you? Get out of here. Didn't I just tell you not to interrupt me? Yeah, but you're already interrupted now, so you might as well tell me, right? Oh yeah, certainly. I'll just reveal my entire plan to some random grad student or whoever you are. That will certainly be to my advantage. Would it? Oh, you're being sarcastic. A stellar observation, full marks. Now get out of here before I put you on a double secret probation. Jeez, you don't have to get sore about it. You know, I'm pretty sure you've got your focusing diagram wrong. Oh yeah, and what do you know about it, hmm? Well, I know that square goes there and the hexagon goes there. You've got them switched. What? But, oh, oh, I get it. You used an old compass. West is north now. You have to flip it across the diagonal, see? What? But that doesn't, that doesn't make any... As the old man frantically scans his handiwork, you casually put a hand on his shoulder and give him a straight arm shove towards the portal. He stumbles and screeches in pain and terror as he's sucked into, into it with a whoosh, like a mouse caught by a shot back. Jesus, and then portal vanishes with a quiet pop. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> okay. What's all the way over here though? Oh, here we go. Hobo code. Uh, hobo relevant literature nearby. Get an item, Psychog Psychography of Panhandling. Ooh. Ooh. Even though its subject matter is complex, this book is written in such a simple language that even a child hobo could understand it. Still, it's gonna take an adult level willpower to actually finish the thing. I might as well finish it. <clears throat> you study the book until you memorize a bunch of techniques for getting people to relinquish their additional meat. You got an ex you got a perk expert panhandling you've learned what makes people tick and more importantly what makes people feel generous drop the book in one of sit's nomadic book return shoots so it can be of some use to the next prospective hobo a rising balance lifts all ledgers yeah something like that i think that's the book we're looking for actually you can see it's got a little spooky stuff on it oh wait this is a copy of the student handbook well there's nothing unusual about it well, shoot, that cursed book has got to be somewhere around here, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and step through the portal first, you know. Nope. Incorporate it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> eh. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? What else is there? I don't think this is the correct spelling. Hian. Nope. 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 Oh. Okay. Uh, well, I put an open again, and it did this. Open, 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 re, open, open sesame, open, no, four letters, open, open, book. There's books, right? Hey, we did it. We got the magic suitcase. Close it. I don't need that shadow bullshit. Grab your flyers, twist it. Let's get out of here. Another another vortex magically solved. We're out of here. Let's go grab that book. I think it was in the front row, right? Front row. Front row. Front row. Front row. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> ah, here it is. This is unmistakably the book you're looking for. Check it out. Check it out as an examiner or as borrow it from the library. Uh, both technically. Got an item. Librum umbrum umbra melum ovila. This book radiates menace. The spine is as dry and cracked as the spine of a spooky skeleton. The binding reminds you of a skeleton bound to its dungeon wall with rusty manacles. The picture of a skeleton on the cover is also evocative of something scary, but you can't place what it is. It's evil. Okay, cool. Well, we got the book and I got something. Oh, that's my new perk. Meat drops. Cool. All right, well. 
another uh, another thing magnificent we're done we're done we're easy a little too easy let's get back to the old to the old place where i go for things not gonna lie i think i really wasted that food <laughs> maybe maybe next episode here what i'll do is i'll go through and and do a bunch of crazy stuff Jessica, Dr. Jess, I got that book and possibly a bachelor's degree in chemicals. I'm not exactly sure. Wow, sounds like a busy day. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. I'm going to bed now. All right, sleep tight. Don't forget to uncurse the book. We're having some trouble pinpointing the next artifact, but we should have it sorted out in the morning. Now, let's just go ahead and sit in this thing. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. I think this is going to end up being a really short one, um, but I'm going to cut it anyway. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, real short. All I wanted to really do was just finish out that, that section there. Next episode, we're going to uncurse the book. And maybe that Eldritch Fishing Rod. I it, I think that one's cursed, but I don't know. We're going to check that out here. And if we got time, maybe we'll wander around and, and just kind of finish out SIT. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.